Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day. So, now we will talk about uh, super elevation E. So, the symbol for super elevation is E. So, what is the super elevation? Why do we need to calculate or consider E into our calculation? Okay, uh, E is actually used for safety. We consider the E for safety purposes. When you traverse a horizontal curve, the centrifugal force acts horizontally outward through the center of the gravity of the vehicles. The centrifugal force is equal to W V square, which the W is the weight of the vehicle, while the V is the speed of the vehicles at the curve over G multiplied by R. So the G is gravity and the R is the radius of the circle. Okay, so the centrifugal force is P. Right, so let us imagine that in one big circle, which it has their center of the circle, and let's say there is two tangent, tangent, two tangent. So this is the point of intersection from here till here. This is the point of curve and point of tangent. From here, point of curve till point of tangent, that is the L. C if the R is constant along the curve. So at this condition, there is a force that push the vehicles that traverse on this curve outward. And this force we call as centrifugal force. So, when these vehicles, these vehicles traverses a horizontal curve, this horizontal curve, the centrifugal force, which is the P, act horizontally outward, outward, through the center of gravity of vehicles. And it has two effects. This centrifugal force has two effects, which if this vehicle travel at very high speed, which is exceeded the uh, design speed of the curve, it has a tendency to overturn. So number one is overturn. If the vehicle travel at very high speed or else it has a tendency to skid laterally. Skid laterally. So, also known as terbabas. Okay. The overturn is terbalik. Maksudnya, uh, force tu sangat kuat menyebabkan kenderaan terbalik. But, for the second effect, uh, probably because uh, the driver travel at slightly lower speed but still exceeded the design speed so the vehicle just skid laterally terbabas ke tepi okay so that is the effect of centrifugal force as i drew before the centrifugal force which acting on a vehicles on the horizontal curve will have two effects tendency to overturn and tendency to skid laterally so what is the super elevation? The super elevation along along this horizontal curve, the outer edge of the road will slightly raise with respect to the inner edge. So the super elevation is used to counteract the effect of centrifugal force to reduce the tendency of the vehicles to overturn or skip which uh, the outer edge of pavement is raised with respect to the inner edge which is known as super elevation E. Maksudnya, kalau jalan tu 
uh, yang di sebelah luar lebih tinggi daripada yang di sebelah dalam. Okay, ha, ni gambar. This is an example of super elevation. So, this is the inner edge and this is the outer edge. Where this is your vehicle, so you will feel something lift you up as a driver because you are here. Let's say you, you are here. So, the curve is like this from here to there. The function of the super elevation is that um, when the centrifugal force acts towards the vehicles, the force is not perpendicular with the center of the vehicles. So, it can reduce the effect of the centrifugal force. Mm, this is the friction of the tire and the pavement surface. And this is the P, which is the centrifugal force. And the width of the vehicle is going down. Yeah. So, it will apply only on the curved section. Let's say, I give a very simple example uh, at the traffic signal or any intersection, then you want to make a U-turn. If you notice, if heavy vehicles make a U-turn, what will happen to their uh, vehicles? They are coming in They are coming in Let's say this is a spiral curve, which it consists of transition curve. Simple circular curve and will end with transition curve. Bear in mind, the R of the transition curve will increase gradually till the value of R at the simple circular curve. That means, along this simple circular curve, the R is constant. The R is constant, but it will reduce gradually to the infinity once it enter the transition curve till the end of the transition curve. So, same goes to the E. The E also increase from 0 till the value of E at the simple circular curve. The E will increase from the beginning of the transition curve till the value of the E along the simple circular curve and it will decrease from the beginning of the transition curve at the end of the simple circular curve, the E will reduce until zero. This E is used to counteract the P. What is P? P is centrifugal force. Because if the road is flat, let's say this is the cross section of the road and the, the road is flat, there is no super elevation. So this is the car travel okay, towards that direction towards that direction. So, the P will act in parallel to the road surface and the force will slightly higher than if we add the E. Let's say this is E. So, the vehicle will slightly Okay, Chondong. So, the P will act not parallel to the pavement surface like this picture is shown. Okay, that is why we have to install or construct the super elevation at the curve because we want to reduce the effect of the centrifugal force. So, the F is friction of the tyre and the pavement surface. Uh, w is the weight of the vehicles. We know that the weight of the vehicle and gravity is uh, act downward. And this is the E. The gradient of the pavement. Okay. 
So the maximum rate of E or super elevation usable are controlled by several factors such as uh, climatic condition, terrain condition and frequency of the very slow moving vehicles such as uh, heavy lorries, trailers, or buses and also vehicle speed because the higher the speed, the higher chances of the vehicle to overturn or skid laterally. So the maximum rate of the super elevation used uh, in practice is 0.1% for rural area and 0.06 per of the urban area. So the simple example that you can use um, to imagine this super elevation is when you look at um, velodrome, the cycle inside the stadium, Google it. Okay, the velodrome, where that is the excessive or exaggerated super elevation very simple so basically the super elevation is used to reduce the effect of the centrifugal force all right bye